So we'll get started at the MCG, the big story. After 17 straight wins, Melbourne is finally beaten. Yeah, didn't see this coming. What a performance it was from Fremantle. There's Schultz in the dying stages. He kicked four. I thought their small forwards were awesome. There was a method about what they did to dismantle Melbourne after a bit of a shaky start. But here's the scenes post-game. He was the man of the moment and uh, what a performance it was from the Dockers who had had a pretty ordinary fortnight. They kicked 12 goals to one in the second half. How did they do it? How did they break down what Melbourne's been so good at for so long? Well, look at their uncontested marks. Now, teams have tried to do this against Melbourne, but they've failed and it's allowed... If you, if you move the ball slowly, it's allowed Melbourne to get back in big numbers. But off their intercept marking in their back line, which was a real strength of theirs, they are able to shift the ball. And I thought they went just a little bit faster than the other teams that have tried to do it against them. So there's Pierce intercept mark, the pressure on the ball. Thought their small forwards brought enormous heat and enormous pressure. It allowed this. And then when they did win the ball in their back half, I thought they were able to shift the angle. So what they've been really good at is they, they look like they're giving you a leg rope. They almost dare you to take a risky kick and then they pick you off. And I thought they were able to pick off Melbourne's ball movement. So this one there, he looks like that's on as he goes to kick it. And then you come in, Banfield, like just bang. So they, they would have practiced that all pre-season and then their ability to get their game going off the turnover. Melbourne had, sorry, Fremantle had kicked 10 goals from 111 entries in the last two weeks. They kicked 12 goals from 30 entries in the second half on Saturday evening. You want to talk about Justin Longmuir because this is what he said after last week's loss to Collingwood. I'll probably give this a reality check, to be honest, because, yeah, you were right. You're right. We were riding high and, you know, getting way, everyone was getting way ahead of himself. And if you get way ahead of yourself in footy, you don't well, you don't even need to get ahead, way ahead of yourself. You get marginally ahead of yourself in footy. It gives you a reality check. So that was off the losses to Gold Coast and then Collingwood. I saw that and I thought, there's going to be a response this mm. week. So the win was set up there. Every time a coach fronts the media, you're talking not only to your supporters and the media, but you're talking to your players. And there was a response. So contested footy plus 12. They win clearances by 10. They out-tackle Melbourne despite having a lot more of the footy. So that was where it was won. Mm. And I can imagine it was pretty ferocious on the training track. I, I thought it was masterful coaching because you don't hear coaches speak like that yeah. and that directly to their players very often. You mentioned Freo's small forwards before. There were none better than Michael Frederick today. He is our Saturday star. He was unreal. He had 17 disposals, a game-high 11 score involvements, two goals, two goal assists. Yeah, it was almost the prototype game for a small forward. I'd, I'd love to get a hold of his GPS numbers because he covered more ground than I think I've seen any small forward cover uh, this year. He was up at the stoppage. He was winning at the stoppage. But then what he was doing really well was getting back and resetting because if you come up to the stoppage as a half forward against Melbourne, they'll drop off and that will create an extra number. But he was so quick at resetting and getting himself back inside 50 like this. I mean, you don't get a stat for that. Uh, that's just unbelievable class. So uh, career best game, as you said, career high disposals, 11 score involvements, and then his ability to finish. So you got Collier, you got Swikowski, you got Walters, and you found one in Frederick.